Drones are being used today more than ever, and one of the biggest industries that we're seeing is public safety and first responders. Today I'm gonna to show you how the Mavic 2 Series is gonna be able to help you in any of those situations. Hey guys, this is Sam, and today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the differences between the Mavic 2 Dual and the Mavic 2 Enterprise. Both of these being used in the public safety sector have value, but they also bring different types of value depending on the drone you're trying to use and what you're gonna be using it for. So the Mavic 2 Dual and the Mavic 2 Enterprise are both gonna be coming with the same accessories and case. So inside of here, you're gonna have the beacon, the spotlight, and the speaker. Remember, this is 2400 lumens for the light, 100 decibels for the speaker, and 3.1 miles of visibility for the beacon. Inside, you also have space for up to six batteries. So you'll have three here, three underneath the extra accessories that can go on the bottom, and then one inside of the drone itself. So seven batteries total. You'll also be able to carry the remote controller, any accessories that you have, such as the propellers, or anything else you need, like chargers and charging hubs as well. All right, so some of the key differences between the Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic 2 Enterprise Zoom are the fact that this battery is not only gonna last you 30 minutes, but it's also a self-heating battery. You also have about 24 gigabytes of onboard storage here, and the biggest key difference here is that you're also gonna be able to encrypt this. So if you wanna set a password or anything like that, you can make this a private encryption for the onboard storage. That's gonna be a huge role for public safety, especially if you don't want anybody to get access to that information. You have sensors all the way around, fully being able to avoid any obstacle on the top, bottom, and on all four sides of the drone. The camera itself is a six time zoom camera, so you're gonna be able to use that and really utilize it for whatever it is that you're looking for, whether that be search and rescue, whether that be crowd control, or whether that also just be doing general surveillance of the area. So over the past year, we've worked with a lot of different departments in the public safety sector. And what we've really done is kind of move them towards this Mavic 2 Enterprise series, especially now that they're using them for multiple things, whether that be with their police departments, with their SWAT departments, or whether it just be certain things like crowd control, search and rescue, or anything in a national park these drones will be able to fit that bill for them. All right guys, so one of the key things here is that both the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual and the Mavic 2 Enterprise Zoom both come with this hard case shell. Inside of it, you're gonna be able to find all three attachment mounts, so the 100 decibel speaker system, the 2400 lumen light, and the 3.1 mile beacon is all gonna be included in each bundle. Underneath, you're gonna be able to put an additional three batteries on here. So this case will carry seven batteries total, three here, three underneath, and one inside the drone. This also includes the charging system that you're gonna to need to be able to get the batteries charged up, the cables, extra propellers, here's the charger itself, and then a slot for the drone with this piece going right on top of it. Remote controllers here on the side, and if you ever lose the little attachment piece that goes on top of the drone right here, an extra one is included with this case. So now I wanna to talk to you about the key differences between the Mavic 2 Enterprise and now the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. The biggest thing here, is gonna be the actual camera itself. So you have a 4K camera, fully gimbalized and stabilized here with a FLIR Leptin 160 camera built in next to it. Now the biggest key thing here, guys, is that this little drone has a feature called MSX built into it. So what it's gonna do is it's really gonna pull the light out of a picture when you're looking at it from a thermal point of view. That's really gonna help outline if you're looking for a person, if you're looking for an animal, or if you're just trying to find something specific, like even in a fire, if you're looking for a hot spot this drone will actually be able to help you out with that. Now, you don't have a zoom function on this drone. That's where the Mavic 2 Enterprise itself will do the zoom option for you. But these are some of the key differences between them. Another key function that the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual has is something called spot meter. So what you can do is you can look at a picture, you can look at the entire video and be able to actually look at the pixels and see a heat difference. So if you're doing something like search and rescue and you're looking for a person in the woods, you're gonna be able to look at that video and actually see different temperature ranges so you can actually find the person much faster. That's a big thing with these drones. You're gonna be able to go on scene, get the drone up in the air within seconds and be able to do full surveillance, full surveys, full research on whatever it is that you're looking for and be able to find that person, that object, or that animal. For first responder situations, every second counts. That's why the Mavic 2 Enterprise series is gonna be able to give you all the benefits that you're looking for. The Mavic 2 Enterprise attachments are plug and play. They don't need any external batteries. They source everything from the drone itself. You simply just take off the top piece, attach the top piece on here, and you're ready to go. So just to recap, the key differences here with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual and the Mavic 2 Enterprise 
Remember, everything is fully built in here. So you have a 30 minutes of flight time with a self-heating battery. All three attachment pieces are included with this case. And you have the full obstacle avoidance built around the drone. If you guys have any other questions or any other concerns, feel free to call us over here at Drone Nerds. We're more than happy to help.